welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a Web Wing Henryville Special. The hook I have in the vise is a 100 BL. It's a size 14, and this is from Green Caddis Outfitters, GreenCaddis.com. This is a barbless hook. It is standard dry fly. Going to use some uh, brown thread, and that's 70 denier. Depending on the company, it's six aught or eight aught. And we're going to put a base of thread down. Take that all the way to the rear. This is a good caddis pattern for heavier water. The ripples. See splashy rises in the ripples. It's a good time to put on a nice uh, heavy duty caddis. I'm going to start out by putting on a rib, and I'm going to use some extra fine gold wire. You can really use whatever color you'd like, depending on the body color. You can use copper wire or black wire. I'm going to use this gold wire on this one. This is going to be, it's not going to be an olive, but it's going to be like a olive brown, more more on the lines of the tan caddis. I'm going to tie that rib in and bring that back. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to use olive brown uh, dubbing. This is a hair blend. We're going to tie a nice skinny noodle. Not real skinny, but you don't want it too heavy. You can always add more, remember. You can always go back over the whole noodle again if you have to. We're going to take that and wrap that up to about one eye length from the eye of the hook. You can see how I went back and forth on there. On that. Now I'm going to take a hackle and I have a ginger grizzly hackle. Going, I gave it that little crew cut there. You can see the barbel sticking off. Gonna tie this in pointing forward. Give that a couple of wraps, and then I'm going to fold it back, wrap in front of it. I'm going to wrap this, I'm gonna put a couple of wraps right at the head. Two wraps at the head, and then I'm going to palmer that to the rear. And we'll bring that right up for that last wrap. Then we're going to take our rib and we're going to wrap our rib. That wrap right at the back and that's holding in the hackle. And we're going to wrap that forward, palmering that once again. Kind of wiggle it there so you don't trap down too many pieces of hackle. And we're going to tie that down right in the front there. And then we can helicopter that off. Take our hackle and we can remove that. Now we're going to take a wood duck flank feather or a mallard flank feather but you want those ones that are really long the ones you think look at a, look at the size of these here and we're gonna take four or five maybe a half a dozen of the barbels and go and remove them these are going to be the antenna swooping back and we're gonna lay them back about one and a quarter the length of the body. 
So we're going to let them be out there a little bit, a little ways. Tie them in. We want to end up with our thread next to the body. Go ahead and trim off that excess. Now we're going to take our web wing and I cut it oh, about, depending on the size of the fly you're doing, you want it a quarter to three eighths and we folded it in half and I cut a taper on the end there. Let me just open that up. You see that taper there? Fold that back in half and take that fold and place it right on there. We're just going to catch the edge of that web wing and we're going to form the head right there and in doing forming the head we're going to it'll secure the web wing take our whip finish trim that off now the web wing is really long, so we're going to lift that up, and we don't want to cut off any of those antenna. So we're going to measure the length of the wing, and you want the wing to go just slightly past the body. We're going to hold those that uh, mallard or wood duck out of the way, and we're going to cut this at an angle. Take our head cement, put some head cement on the head. That's a strong wing. It's actually a piece of a screen. And here we have a web wing Henryville special. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.